new Mercedes-AMG GTC Roadster 2017. Not just a pretty face, the AMG GTC Roadster is a heck of a lot of car, but one that admittedly costs an awful lot of money to buy. Its rivals are the Audi R8 Spider and Porsche 911 Turbo Cabriolet, and in a curious kind of way it feels more exotic and more memorable to drive than either of them. Even if the Audi does have the slightly more compelling engine note, AMG is definitely riding the crest of a wave at the moment, and the refined and exciting GTC Roadster is undoubtedly its shining new star. AMG's continuing evolution and rampant global expansion reaches another new level this month, with the introduction of the undeniably handsome and interestingly excellent to drive AMG GT Roadster. It's available in two trim and power specifications, a standard GT costing £110,145 and boasting 469bhp and 630Nm, plus an even faster, more sophisticated GTC model with electronic four-wheel steering, 549bhp and 680Nm. We'll concentrate on the headline-grabbing GTC model here, which uses the same 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 that propels pretty much everything within the AMG lineup, from the C63 to the new E63, and all versions of the AMG GT, albeit in different states of tune. In the GTC's case, the V8 dishes up enough energy to fire the 1,735 kg Roadster from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds and to a top speed of 196 miles per hour and this is a rear-wheel drive car, remember, not four-wheel drive like the latest E63S. As well as electronic four-wheel steering. The GTC also gets a proper electronic diff at the back and AMG's adaptive sport suspension. It's also a touch wider than the regular GT model in order to accommodate 19-inch wheels at the front and 20s at the rear. The tracks are a fraction wider too, while the brake discs at the front are slightly bigger, with an optional carbon ceramic setup available for an extra £5,995 best convertible cars. The fundamental proportions of the new AMG Roadster really do grab your attention. It's a stunning looking machine, but never more so than with its triple layered fabric hood down. It takes approximately 11 seconds to fold, and can be raised or lowered at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Mercedes has done a fine job of eradicating when buffeting inside the cabin. With the hood down and the deflector in place, you can carry out a perfectly civilized conversation with your passenger at anything below three-figure speed. Group up, the level of refinement on offer is almost as impressive. It's not as quiet or comfortable as the coupe, however. On the road the GTC is a bit of a rule breaker. It's phenomenally rapid and exciting due to its insatiable combination of pace, composure, grip and sound, but at the flick of a switch it can be calmed back down. In its civilized setting it turns into a surprisingly refined boulevard cruiser with a smooth ride, excellent refinement and extremely sophisticated manners. All of this flexibility is down to its brilliant dynamic drive and adaptive ride programs. In race mode it sounds and feels like a proper track day weapon, with ultra-crisp steering responses, thank the new 4WS system for that, as well as the electronic dampers. Even the gearbox works brilliantly in this mode, auto blipping on downshifts whenever hard braking is detected. Best Sports Cars But dial it back to comfort mode, and all of the, deliberately, Sharp edges disappear, at which point the ride gets better, the steering is less manic, and even the exhaust note transforms from being loud and maybe a bit too leery into a potent but distant V8 trumpet. The boot is bigger than you'd expect, too, given the electronics it has to accommodate, while the level of standard equipment on offer is also unusually good for a high-end Mercedes. The GTC benefits from a Burmester stereo, keyless go, Merck's Partronics system and a reversing camera. 
but it's all the clever tech that makes the GTC Roadster feel like several different cars all under one super slick, electric roof.